<laughs> All right. I'm going to start in the day before Thanksgiving and then go to Thanksgiving after. Because I did some time shenanigans and it may have messed with it a little bit, so... Plus, I want to show stuff off when the event isn't going on and everybody's, like, out in the plaza. Oh, let me switch Twitch's thing. Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. Horizons, there we go. Plus, I moved it to the day because nothing will be open if I do it at this actual time. Even with the night owl thing I have on, everything still closes like at 12 or 1, so. Aren't Cap'n's sea shanties amazing? No, and I skip them almost every time. <laughs> anyway. Ah, yes. Yeah, so I was on this day already. But, uh, I'll show off a couple things. Oh, Red's here. Does Red have anything new? Or is this the day I technically already bought stuff? Time to inspect art. This is new. Alright, Red. Let us inspect Fruit Man. Behold, fruit. I don't know if this is correct. I would have to actually pull up, like, a thing. Let's see. Hmm. I mean, sure is a fruit man. Or vegetable man, I guess. Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh, art. Real versus fake. This is the jolly one. Uh, this is the real one. I can buy this. The fake has no artichoke at the bottom. Sold. What else you got, Red? I need to change my outfit. <laughs> What's this? A boxy stool. The charm and elegance of the very finest tomato juice. Yeah, I'll buy that. I will not buy the crib. I don't need that. The babby crib. Hold on, I can close stuff. There we go. Let me know if the audio is, like, horribly out of sync, too, by the way. I think I fixed it. But... Anyhow. I will show off my home that I have redecorated since the last stream I did, whenever it was, when the DLC stuff launched. I still have this here, but I have changed a bunch of other shit. 
Got my little crafting thing back here. My go board. Some tea. Got my ramen. Might work on this a little bit more, but... And now, I have completely changed my kitchen. It is no longer that diner. It is now traditional Japanese kitchen kind of thing. <laughs> With some other random Asian foods, but yeah. I want to get out the correct shirt and stuff. Uh, there it is. <laughs> Do I have an eye patch? I don't know where it would be. Be here. those. I don't even think this is the right eye, but... <laughs> there we go. Turn your back on the true meaning of Flavor Town. Not really, because I have a villager that has a diner already. So, I don't really need to double up on it. Yep, it's just me, purple Majima, right now. <laughs> I like my kitchen. It's nice. This room, I like a lot. I need to add some stuff to this that I just got. I have Frita, who has a diner. But here's my art room. My manga room. With my CRT. But I did get something new I need to put in here somewhere. A mangaka workspace. Uh, I got model kits. I don't know where it is. It's like boxes, so it might not be in here. Let me just look through here real quick if I can spot it. I have a lot of shit, <laughs> and I just got rid of stuff too. This I need to put in my arcade. I got a. Gotcha pawn machine. Um. Oh, also, I gotta give this to Nox. I got a golden casket and an Aquarius urn. Take those out. I can drop those in front of Nox's house. I can give this to Nox also. Um. Where are those model kits? Or do I have them already? Ooh, map. That'd be good for Nox, too. Okay, that's a Nox. Um, hmm. I have a graceful painting. Where did I put it? <laughs> it was like a stack of boxes. I made a bunch of the food items. Sensing a lack of food. I had food in the kitchen. And in the main room. Hold on. I need to find this model kit box. It's gonna drive me nuts. I like not buy it. I swear I bought it when I saw it. Maybe I put it somewhere on accident. Well, fun. New recipe. Oh, I got cardboard boxes. I can check in here. I think it, it's just called model kit. There's so much floor space. 
model kits. Yeah, this. I don't know where they went. I'll just order more, I guess. I was gonna put these in here and change them. Maybe there's like robot ones. I don't know where I put them, but <laughs> they exist. I wasn't crazy. All right, but anyway, here's my manga room. I even made the computer, if I can zoom in. It's an art program. It kind of looks like Psy, a little bit. The one I use. It's got a color wheel. <laughs> a bit meta. I wish my room looked like this. That's a little more boring. Although, I have cooler posters in my actual room. And not wall-to-wall -wall manga. I actually do like my current setup in my room. It's not bad. Anyway. Back here. I need to work on this a little bit more and get a couple things, I think. But... I got, like, a bathhouse. This one I was going to switch out. Uh, I had a darker color one. Somewhere, there it is. Though, I don't know. Maybe I should keep the lighter color? But everything else is kind of different shades of darker. Just the walls are lighter. Also, wait, this is the wrong toilet. <laughs> Replace turlet. I had a gold toilet, but I think it gave it to Nox. Here's a normal one. Yeah. I'll change some stuff around a little bit, but it's not too bad. Probably put like a a rug or something in here too. Let's see, what do I got? Try to do this. I got this cool dark stone rug earlier. But I'll probably use it somewhere else. I should get more of these. I could make it like a pathway. Uh... Ah yes, the turkey rug from last year. I'm not sure. It was just an entrance mat. Dark square time. I might change the floor as well, though. Hmm. Uh, yeah. White wood flooring sheet. I guess if you got a bunch of these, you can make, like, paths. Or, like, different things for underneath. Anyway, I'll mess with that later. And downstairs is still the arcade, but I'm going to put that Gachapon machine in. Somewhere. I don't know where, but... Maybe just here, I guess? Against the door. Yeah, I didn't have anything else here, so... I could put something else. Yeah, there's there's a bunch of new items that got added that are pretty good for the arcade, too. I haven't gotten yet, though. There's, like, other wall lights and stuff. 
I also saw there are like glow in the dark stickers you can get from the glow moss, but I don't have the recipe for that yet. And then upstairs. It's like Japan slash Chinese kind of stuff. Just the mix. Spin. The dinner room, and also my bed, I guess. I gotta work on this a little bit too, but... Kinda went all in on the, uh... Japan aesthetic here, other than the basement, which is also sort of, but more modern. But yeah. That's my house now. Uh, let's do a little walk around the village again. But I don't think too much has changed since last time. Oh yeah, I got a Stonehenge. And this cool tree. Uh, I need to fix this and make it not like a mess, but I just threw these things here for now. Let's see, can I actually hit these, or is this just... not let me... Oh, it does. Always trying to get more gold. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, though, that the rate for gold did increase, because I've definitely gotten more in the last month or so than I, like, had in quite a while. Which is good, because it was way too low of a rate. And I need a lot of it. <laughs> if I actually got enough, I can make that robot. At this point. Yeah, I made the golden tools once. And then threw them into storage. I think I used up the slingshot. It's Nox's home that needs, like, tons of work, but... Just hit these for now. <laughs> A grave to somebody. Oh! There it is. Told you guys, the rate's up. <laughs> I've gotten about one a day, at least. Well, maybe not one a day, but like one every other day at least, which is definitely more than it was. Oh yeah, I planted all the, the produce now. Um, still trying to get <laughs> rare flowers. Still don't have blue roses or purple, whatever these are, windflowers. I've been trying. I guess I can water them right now. And those are the correct red roses. They're the ones that are from the white rose, or yeah, white roses. Or white and purple? Whatever it was. Orange and purple? I did that before, and these are the ones I got from that. They should be correct. Just haven't had any luck. And I was trying to get more... I think get more blue... pansies and more purple tulips, but... At least I have one, so I could craft some stuff. That's all I really want them for, too, is just so I can finally make, like, some of the crafts I haven't been able to yet. I've been trying to do every single one I have. Let's see. What do I have left? Yeah, blue rose crown, blue pansy wreath. And this needs purple windflowers. 
I do not have a lucky cat, or else I would make this. If anyone has a lucky cat, <laughs> please give. I somehow do not have one. Uh, yeah, there's some food stuff. We have this robot, which requires gold armor and gold nuggets. Ten of them, so I need 18 to make this thing. Pretty sure. Oh no, maybe. Yeah, 18. And these things that. I don't have any of these fragments, but. I don't think I have this piano either. But I've made. All this other stuff. There's still more. Yeah, I added this thing. These are new items from the update. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't have this villager last time either. Hey, they're home. Colton is gone. My night horse, sadly. Well, not so sadly. It's fine. <laughs> Instead, I got Chino. She's cooking. What are you making? The Oni Deer. What are you making? Fruit scones. I will take. Yes. From Le Kitchen of the Chic Chef herself. Fruit scones, the tastiest stuff ever. Alright. I need to change your text thing eventually, Shino. You just say, okay? That's boring. But yes, Shino is very good. There was another really good one that came to my camping spot. Who was it? Ken! The chicken, who had like a karate gi. Oh, what do you want, Octavian? I gotta tell you, all I can seem to think about these days is getting a boxy stool. The thing I bought, really? Fine, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Wow, that's like nothing. <laughs> sure. You have Ken on your island? I thought about getting him, but I'm pretty happy with who I have right now. Like, I could get rid of Whitney for a more Japanese-themed one, but I like Whitney. And Frida and Meringue I gotta keep for Flavortown. <laughs> the food girls. And I really like everybody else. I don't think I'd ever get rid of Meringue anyway, so... I'm pretty full up. Oh shit, it's Snake! Let's see what Snake's up to. Yes, Ninja Chicken. I already have Ninja Bunny, so it's okay. What you doing, Snake? Push up training. Hey. Do you want some iron? I've been giving this to every villager, because I don't have anything I really want to give them. And I'm sick of giving them fish that they just stick out here like this one. An ant farm? I don't think I have that, but okay. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Do I need it? No, but... Yeah, Frida lives here and has a... Uh, a diner. What does the ant farm look like? Ah. Oh yeah, let me drop stuff in front of Nox's house. I need to do turnips at some point so I can buy the upgrade for storage. Right now, I'll just give you extra stuff, I guess. Uh, yeah. All 
Alright. Do a little bit of a walk around and then switch it to Thanksgiving. Probably something I already have. Shell Arch. Yup. I know there are other recipes, I just don't get any new ones. I could do a Kappa's thing today, too. Store some of this. Hello, Whitney. Would you like a rock? <laughs> of the metal variety? A safety vest. No, thank you. What's in here? Oh yeah, I got that new light post. It's right there. Yo, what up, Drago? Drago and his jacket. <laughs> Something about you're too kind, my liege. How do you give them a rock? Burn. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't been able to change his thing either. What are you gonna give me? An apron. Like, fucking everybody gives me aprons. Why? Oh, hey. A Viking helmet. Sure. Yeah. I don't think I have that. Oops. Hell yeah. <laughs> I've given aprons to a bunch of my female villagers too. Ooh, a white books coat. I don't think I had I had this one. Um uh, Yeah, this is probably the color. Paper restaurant caps. Ah, uh, this is new to me. I don't remember seeing this. Hmm. Okay. Puckered socks. It's me, Cook Lad. I'm pretty sure I have these glasses, though. I don't need to buy more. Um, yeah. Okay. I'll keep this on, actually. There we go. This will be good for Thanksgiving. Ah, let me get some coffee. Oh yeah, I added that coffee sign outside here too. Got one fossil. Eh. Do it later. I'm for coffee. Nobody is here. Boo. I got one of the Rossetti guys before. And aside from that, once in a while I get one of my own villagers, but there's like a bunch of weird. Like, old characters that come back here. You get, like, the police guys, too. It's at its peak when the coffee served at 176.28 degrees. Time to burn my mouth. I would never do this. I would never drink coffee hot out of the thing right away. 
You can wait for it to cool down, but... I'm blissing out in this coffee right now. The scent alone is enough to wake me up. Celsius. Melting through my bones. <laughs> yeah, you can invite people here. What did I get that wasn't new? Order obtained. Ah, the fruit scones, which take one of every fruit. Okay, and flower. If you burn your tongue, you can't taste the flavor of the pigeon milk he puts in. Oh no. Eh, I don't need to talk to you. Hmm. <laughs> Global pigeon lactation. This is the other tub. I don't need this one. I'm again the extra shit that I have is pouring out onto the street. Maybe I will open my island, and anybody can come and take this shit. <laughs> I don't need it. Uh, let me put some of this away. Ant farm, I guess. It's all junk. I don't need that. My hair, though. Uh, this is all extra crap. Okay. Ah, the money tree. Where to crow milk at? Go to Darius's island. <laughs> He's crow themed. Oh, whoops. I mean, put it away. Eh. <laughs> said themed. He's not agro. Oh shit, Jaroid. Boomoid. Oh, money. <laughs> I think I cleaned up my beach a little bit since last time. Yeah. It's not as much of a mess. And of course, the pit. Pay respects. <laughs> I need a... let's see. I have lots of these that I never use. Uh... Hmm. Amazed! It's good! I have so many of these now, too. They added a bunch. Eager. Yes! <laughs> it's good! Okay, um... Change my pants and shoes real quick. Need my 
chain, wallet chain pants. <laughs> We're cooking. Hmm. They're fine. Uh, where's my barbecue boots? Let's see. Are these my barbecue shoes? I think these are barbecue shoes. Or the red ones. <laughs> these are the barbecue shoes. Uh. Hmm. I think the boots that I had. There we go. <laughs> Pirate boots. Hmm, are these the barbecue shoes? I think the lace ones. Alright. I can't imagine any of those... those lads <laughs> wearing a chef outfit, though. You know, could I put together a barbecue man outfit? Probably. Let's see. <laughs> Chef was good, but... Hmm. First we need, like, cowboy hat, maybe? Do I have a good one? Outback hat. Let me take a good look at a barbecue pit boy, for reference. A pit man, perhaps. Pit boys. Oh, they also usually have... Yeah, the one guy has that black cowboy hat, though. That's that's the most iconic of the pit men. A man of the pit. <laughs> I don't know if I have a black cowboy hat, though. I got this outback hat. And it might have to do. Otherwise, they got like a cap with the logo, which I could make, <laughs> I guess, but that would be too much work right now. I'm surprised they don't have a black cowboy hat. What's this one? Well, that'll have to do. Um, hold on. Can I wear the wrong thing? Can I wear this as a shirt? Wear top. Yes, I can. Well, it's like a sleeveless shirt right now, but it is the barbecue pit boy look. <laughs> so it's close. Uh, I need sunglasses, for sure. An apron is the most important bit of a proper pit boy. I need a beard, too. Let's see. <laughs> can I wear this and the glasses? Oh, hell yeah, I can. Uh... These are the best I got for sunglasses right now. <laughs> uh, they got pilot shades? Any of them? They're more just like normal looking sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is this is okay. That's pretty close to some of them, I guess. Uh I need, like, square sunglasses. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good with this. I wish I had a black hat. Oh. I have to change the blue jeans. Uh, acid wash? Not exactly. Denim pants? Yeah. Yep, there we go. Now I'm a pit man. 
<laughs> I could change my hair to white and then really be on brand. Oh, I hear something. There it is. <laughs> Dotted knee high socks. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna go back to my house. Store some of this. Do I have any space? I have three. Okay. Let's see what's in here, too. Next best thing would be a Salt Bay cosplay. I am not aware of what that is. Oh, a grill, but I already have one. I think I have everything that's for sale right now. And just get rid of this stuff. Eh, I suppose I should keep those and actually turn them in for money. Pleather shorts? No, I don't need Get out of here, trash. I'm a pit man now. Some Robert Downey Jr. like private chef. Huh. Goodbye, Meringue. I have no time for you. I'm a pit man. Need to change my hair. Well, not that. No. Ah, uh, I can't use the mirror on top of this. Damn it. Let's put it somewhere else. Guess I'll just switch these. Oh, I thank you. I like my rooms too. My upstairs before was kind of boring. Uh, yes. I love that they have just Nox colors. <laughs> there he be. Alright, um... Yeah, it's not matter right now. Uh... Yeah, these pit lads have pretty messy hair, although they're not really long. It's mostly just beard. Yeah, maybe that. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Although my my eyebrows. Hmm. Do I have? <laughs> I have the Knox eyebrows. You know what? Yeah. Okay. They're silver. Yeah. There we go. Now I'm a pit man. <laughs> Now we're talking. <laughs> I drew form revealed. All right. We're going to cook up something good today. Uh, okay, I made my shrine gold in the back there. I think... Let's go do Kappa, and then I'll move to Thanksgiving. Is this a preview of the Queen's new form? You never know. We don't know until February, apparently.
Too bad I can't make this a t-shirt, though. I mean, I could, but I'd have to go and design it. Alright, Captain. Please be something worthwhile. <laughs> Crooks out songs that don't make any sense. He's an old frog. So he can't hit any high notes. <laughs> Spazzing out! Believe it or not, back in the day, I used to be lean and mean. Alright, whatever. <laughs> I've heard this song already. We've arrived. It looks pretty normal. And I guess I could take these. It's just like, if you don't have Autumn currently, this would be good to get the Autumn stuff, but... I mean, I've been getting this the <laughs> last, like, month anyway, so... Probably use Pine Cones. Yeah, it's definitely a Fall Island. And not just like a current one. That's. I need to get a winter one again. I had one the other day, but I need to get more snowflakes for a recipe. I had a pretty good one that was vines and glow moss again. The other day also. Yeah, I don't really need mushrooms or anything. I have like tons of them. So... Apparently you can only get ones from seasons you've lived through. Oh. What if you go to somebody else's island that has that season, that time skipped or whatever? Like if I made mine winter and you came to it, I don't know. No, talking about these special islands, you can only get the season ones if you've done that season. Yeah, I'm guessing this DIY is going to be something from the fall. I might not have a... Traditional balancing toy. Huh? Oh, it is a ball thing. Look at this little acorn man! Look at him! Beautiful. Well, I'm gonna make him. I do need more, uh, hardwood. I have, like, none. A maquette? Yeah, it does look a little like that. I have a few of those. I don't know how useful they ever really were to me, but eh, I understand their use. I did better just looking at pictures, though. I'm also still terrible at anatomy, so it's fine. <laughs> I don't think you can get items out of trees here. I've tried many times and never got anything, so... Anatomy is bullshit. It's true. Okay. Here's the real thing I came for. Gerald. 
I need to do something with the many gyroids I have now. I'm not sure what, though. Turns on crawling in my crawl. Punished Borp. Gyroid chorus. Yeah, I want to stick them all together somewhere, but I don't really know where. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Center of town. <laughs> I could stick them around uh, town square, I guess, temporarily. I don't really have a lot of space for anything there, though. Go stick them up near the concert thing. You know what? I might actually do that. Look at this barbecue man. <laughs> Alright, that's enough, Captain. How dare ye! Since none of the villagers even go up to the concert thing I made. With the intent of them going up there to sing. I'll just put gyroids in there. Hi, Whitney. Oh, I didn't talk to Phoebe. Phoebe. Phoebe wearing the witch outfit I gave her, I guess. Would you like a rock? Vitamin J, please. I wish they would stop calling me that. Somebody, like, at the beginning of the game called me that. What did you give me? Garbage? Wow, thanks. I'm pretty sure I have one of those. Did I hit this one? Check of iron, I'll display it on the floor next to my favorite radio. See, I give them iron, though, because they don't display it. I had been giving them bugs sometimes, but they stick them out, and I don't really want them in their homes. I need to play the DLC more, which I might do a little bit tonight. I don't know how long I want to go with this, but... I need to do more of that so I can actually unlock, like, the walls and doing stuff here on my island with the villagers. I haven't done a whole lot. Here's a gift. Would you like nougat? Tea with silicon bib. What? Huh? Oh! This barbecue man is ready to feast! <laughs> Alright, I'm ready for Thanksgiving. I think I'm good. Actually, now I can do that in the next day, it won't matter. Save an end. <laughs> it's a crab bib, yeah. Ready for that scrimp. I'm pretty sure... So the barbecue pit boys, like, give off the energy of being southern. I think they're from Connecticut. <laughs> if I recall correctly. Alright. I will now make it Thanksgiving. Do, 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 do. 
25th at, let's just say, 4 p.m. is a good dinner time for the Thanksgiving. Alright. I keep seeing that Hyrule Warriors, and I need to go do that DLC, and I still haven't done it. Uh... Endwalker encroaches ever closer, and I don't have time <laughs> anymore. Northeast gets kind of southern in random spots. Oh yeah, it does. I know quite well. Now, you won't find moonshine. You'll find meth or, like, <laughs> something else. <laughs> That's what you'll find around here. Moonshine would be cool. Alright. I like how it focuses right on Frida for Thanksgiving. Look at my burger ram. She's the best. Alright. I did Thanksgiving last year, but I think there might be a couple new things, actually. And I'll just do it again anyway, for the hell of it. I know for a fact that some of the recipe things that you have to do did change because now there's actually cooking and like vegetable stuff you can do. Hello there, everyone. Right now in Flavortown, it's 4.20 p.m. I didn't even actually plan on that, but all right. <laughs> 4.20 p.m. on Thursday. We're hosting a Turkey Day event from now until midnight to celebrate. <laughs> We've invited a world-class chef to cook for us in the plaza. Hope you all can join in the fun. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Thanks, Isabel. I wish you got to do anything besides sit in your office all day. The turkey is baked. Alright. I mean, I this bib is great and all, but... I gotta maintain the look. Alright. Well, here's the model kits that disappeared. Art I can give. And Whitney gave me something. I forgot to bury the jar red. Oh well. Cucumbers? That sounds like a Vegematic thing to me. <laughs> You know how we feel about those Vegematics. If you've never watched the Barbecue Pit Boys, which I'm assuming many of you have not, do yourself a favor. <laughs> go go look up Pizza Stromboli after the stream. Alright, uh... I believe that's what it was called. some of this stuff. I think I have the cucumbers, but I'll put them in some case. Oh, well, no, we're full. I have so much, so much stuff, you guys. <laughs> I've gotten rid of a lot of it, too. Look at all these gyroids. I have doubles of some now. Crump Lloyd. He's crumping. You can customize them to change the colors. Like, these are different. Got a bunch of these. I guess I could give these away. I think I need more than one of each, really. Sproingoid. Hmm. I don't know which one I like better. I think I will get rid of that. <laughs> Alright. I have the crusty boy. Yes. Hmm. 
Yeah, the music's different. Hello, lads. Yeah, we'll open this up later and we'll can um, get this. <laughs> I feel at home here now. <laughs> With this picture of myself. <laughs> and my very cool gnome that Vel gave me. Thank you, Vel. and shit everywhere. Alright, I'm just gonna do the event now. Some of this out of my inventory. Oh yay! We're in your dress. Nice. I heard that a renowned chef would be serving up his finest today, so obviously I had to see for myself. As the island's foremost expert on fine dining, I consider it my duty. My delicious, mouth-watering duty. Yo, what up, snake? I like your hat. Some folks will spend turkey day at home cooking. That's cool, but I want to see the pro she chef's technique. What's his whisks per minute? What brand of protein powder does he use? How many pan lifts can he do? I gotta know these things. I just gotta, Dago's Otter. That doesn't really fit your type. He picked that up off of one of the other villagers. I wish you could change their sentence endings a little easier. I'm gonna have to do some restraint exercises so I don't eat too fast. It's gonna be real intense. Keeping your willpower in good shape is just as important. It's your muscles, Deko Sauter. I think he was the one who said it first. You picked it up off of him. Hey, Coco. It's such a treat to see Franklin feeding me personally. Aren't you excited, sweetheart? She picked up sweetheart off of Meringue. <laughs> it's spreading. Yo, what up? Now this here's some... Fanciness, watching a big-time chef do the thing right in front of me. Dayo. Yeah, that would fit Snake better. So today is going to be a great practice for when I need to go on one of those cooking shows. I need to make the perfect face for every type of taste reaction. Ready? Here goes. Nummy. Check. Icky. Check. Spicy. Check. I'm good at this. Shino, you are a good choice. Alright, what's up, Franklin? Are you one of the locals here? I met you last year! Come on, man! Although, I didn't look like this. I'm Franklin, professional chef extraordinaire. Nook Inc. hired me to come and cook for everyone. Turkey Day is about celebrating the harvest by preparing a feast with all those fresh ingredients. No one knows feasting like turkeys, which is why they called in a professional. Gobble gob. Well, I say that, but right now... That's what those of us in my line of work would call a conceptual feast. Make no mistake, I brought with me everything I need to whip up a positively gobblicious clam chowder. When I think of Thanksgiving, boy, I sure think of clam chowder. <laughs> Today is about nature's bounty, not my personal excellence. I want to use local ingredients where possible. Green manila clams will be all I need to adapt to my award-winning clam chowder recipe. Typically, I have people to do my clam digging. Or am I going to find a digger on such short notice? Hard to tell past the glasses and beard. Alright, three clams. Did the B 
beach, I guess. Mmm. I sure think of clam chowder on Thanksgiving. Clam chowder's okay. I'm not, like, the biggest fan. It's fine. I prefer New England over other types, but I don't see any on the beach. That one? Not that. that not that. Oh, that was not one. I got mushrooms. You want mushrooms? People don't think of garlic crab for Thanksgiving either, but they're tasty either way. I'd much rather have that. Got too much money. I forgot this tree was here. I had a very traditional, just turkey, potatoes, uh, old stuffing. I think I had peas. Like peas in a pod, peas. Um, biscuit stuff. What else was there? That's pretty normal, though. I had pumpkin pie. We had squash, but I didn't eat any of it. I might try some later. I'm not real huge on, like, sweet potato or squash. If they're loaded with butter, then fine. <laughs> but... Go to the other side. The other beaches, I guess. Check and see if those flowers bloomed, but probably not. Probably nothing I need. Let's see. White. Wow. This combo's supposed to get purple, supposedly. And that's it. <laughs> Great. Actually need them. I cannot find them. There's one. Oops. The one. Sure, I see them all the time when I don't need them. Ah, that reminds me there's apple pie that I haven't tried. <laughs> I had pumpkin earlier, but there was apple also. Hi, violin bug. fish for something from him, too, so. I think I just need, like, a bass. Anchovy for a recipe, though. Each apple, banana cream, lemon meringue. Ooh, banana cream sounds really good. Hey, anchovy. That's what I needed. My favorite is chocolate, but... I'm <laughs> 
Chocolate peanut butter pie. Pretty good. <clears throat> I'm not a big cake person, so I often have pies for my birthday as well. Alright, so that's that. Back to the turkey. Alright, time for clam chowder. I did it. Bam. I can give him a mushroom. Now then, I've got everything I need, so... Let's get cooking! <laughs> so there are four dishes. Thanks to me and also to you, to some extent, <laughs> we've got delicious clam chowder ready to serve. Folks tend to underrate soup. They should think twice. Some nice, fresh manila clams re uh, can really satisfy. <clears throat> I'd like to show my appreciation for your help. I present to you a rug, which I have already, but it's fine. Oop. I'll say this, for an amateur, you've got a real eye for ingredients. Next on my menu, I plan to cook up a pumpkin pie. Well, there we go. It's gonna hire a gopher to fetch ingredients he didn't show. How would you like to be my gopher? Gobble gob. I really appreciate this. Even a brilliant chef is nothing without an eager... Yeah, an eager assistant. Let's make this a red-letter turkey day. <clears throat> Let's talk turkey about what we'll need to bake that pumpkin pie. An orange pumpkin, a white pumpkin. Just all stirred in and it'll make for the best pumpkin pie this island's ever seen. Don't have what we need, someone else might. No shame in asking around for help. That's how I recruited you, after all. Nah, might I got it. Just stopping around waiting for food while Franklin just kind of does nothing until you come back. Yup. Orange and white. What is Shino drinking out of that? <laughs> Vacation juice? Our next dish will be a pumpkin pie, absolutely stuffed with pumpkin. Well, they all got little drinks. Well, some of them, anyway. <laughs> Whitney's just waiting with an empty plate. She is ready. There you go. Pumpkin. Nice, reliable assistance and high quality ingredients make a master chef's work that much smoother. And then I've got everything I need, so. Let's get cooking. How are you, uh. gonna make a pie, though? You don't have an oven. <laughs> We're just outside. Maybe they're under this, like, table thing here? I don't know. That creamy roasted pumpkin pureed with spices makes for a quintessential pumpkin pie. That's why he's the master chef, I guess so. You chefs could have brought out the flavor quite so well, but the raw ingredients were all you. It's for your help with another great dish, a turkey day wall. I mean, at least he's got a stove. In 14, you just kind of, like, jam crystals together, and then bam, food. Rotten? Oh yeah, more seafood. Skinny mushroom as well as a mussel. 
Uh, okay, muscle I need to dive for. Do you have the mushroom already? All right. <laughs> Let's go, cowboy. Dig a hole, start a fire near it. It'll be ready after quite a few hours. You know, in Scouts, uh, there was stuff like that that we did. Where you can make, like, Kind of an oven thing in a fire pit to cook certain things. A Dutch oven thing, kinda. An abalone. I think that's actually worth a little money. I need a muscle. Uh, I might be better off just make them out of wood. Yeah. I mean, obviously. Need some muscle, just work out a bit. Yeah, I guess you could stack. Like, wood in a fire pit and make a similar thing. There's a muscle. Sometimes I miss camping, but then I remember uh, camping. And I don't miss it. <laughs> Like, like full-on outdoorsy camping. Camping, like, at a campgrounds and whatever. Like, okay. That's one thing. Also, not really super interested in that, but... Like, sleeping outside on the ground, I... I'm, I'm too old for that shit now. <laughs> it was fun at the time, I guess. I got your shit. Muscle. Skinny shroom. There was one stupid thing I had to do. Or... Some type of scouting thing. I won't get into the full specifics of it because it's boring. But basically, I had to do something where you, like, couldn't talk during the day. That's a whole dumb thing. You couldn't really talk. You had to work with other people to do, like, tasks around the campground. And then at night you had to take basically just a sleeping bag and a couple things and sleep outside on the ground and yeah it sucked there were other times where i did out like full on outdoor stuff sleeping in the ground that was fine but that one came to mind as being pretty awful <laughs> And uncomfortable, and I was kind of like stuck on a hillside, sorta. Of. We didn't really get to pick our spots, that's the real issue. Like, who would fucking pick, like, a hillside to sleep on? An idiot. Because you would roll down it, <laughs> partly, and also it's like just a bad idea. But I didn't have a choice, and it sucked. It was like hazing, honestly, which, yeah. I never continued with the thing that that was part of, but... So what did you want? Last up is... French word. Manure. <laughs> sea bass and a dab. Uh, I do not have them. But... I've also had some okay sleeps on the ground. You know what? When I did, uh, winter... Like, extreme winter camping... We made, like, a snow fort thing, basically, that you slept in. I can't remember. There was an actual name for it. Um, and we put our tents in there, and it got pretty cozy and warm inside of it, actually, because it was insulated. That wasn't bad. I need a dab, too, which I think is small. There was another time, I don't remember why, it was for some badge, 
I had to do outdoor sleeping and the macro. And I made like a little fort thing to sleep in. That was fine also. But at this point, no, no. <laughs> I'm good. I got my Eagle Scout and got the fuck out of there. <laughs> I never looked back. leftovers after this stream, thinking about food. There's the dab. Now I need a bass, which I was looking for earlier, but... Oh yeah. Maybe I'll put the gyroids up here. Take this... Martha, this song's for you! Sometimes, I'll catch the villagers singing this, though, from, like, really far away. And they, like, f <laughs> go ballistic. <laughs> Going down to the house of sausage. I was fishing. That's what I was doing before I started thinking about other stuff. Craving one of those charcuterie boards. I don't think I've ever really had great charcuterie or whatever. I've, I've watched people eat it in videos. Yeah, I've watched a lot more food videos than I've ever eaten <laughs> nice food. I guess most people have. I eat a lot of sandwiches. That's my staple. <laughs> Oh, this might be. Come on, fish. I can't really... can't really <laughs> get a good angle here. Eh. There we go. There we go. It's good. Have your Thanksgiving fish. Have I tried to bond me? I don't know what that is, so no. The meats and cheese being good are close. Yeah. They're <laughs> elevated lunchables. I mean, that is kind of what it is. I have cheese and crackers and, like, pepperoni and stuff sometimes. That's about as close as I get. I've had some pretty good cheese. There's a place that makes really good, like, horseradish something cheese that I like that was up in the Adirondacks. Vietnamese sand. Oh, you're right. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. I have heard of that, but I've never had it. That sounds really good, though. Yeah. Not a lot of Vietnamese food around here. I haven't had too much, other than, like, pho. Couple gob. I mean, I haven't had much anything great food. You know what? Thinking about it. I may have had it in college. 
once, maybe. But yeah, it's been so long that I can't remember. Play, give me a recipe! <gasps> so it was worth doing! Okay, so the recipe is new. Yeah. With these you can make everything you prepared today. Cool, alright. It was worth doing. This book will be on sale at the shop tomorrow, but you deserve an advanced copy. Okay. I was done now. Uh, I live in Italian food zone, so... It's slim pickings for Asian food. I wonder what would happen if we went off recipe with a few of the ingredients. It's your call, but if you'd like to go above and beyond and bring me any ingredients you think might work. If they improve my recipes, well, I won't credit you, but I will offer you a small reward. Really? Look at you guys. All the dishes are lovely, and I have plenty of room in my stomach for seconds, my liege. You know, I'm glad that Colton left behind one thing, and that was my leash as a tag at the end of sentences. Uh, okay. I got a recipe in this. Too. Fruit salad. I need to put away money. Okay. So I got new recipes. Let's see. All these. Olive flounder. Uh. Minier. <laughs> Rotten. Pumpkin pie. Clam chowder. And then the fruit salad. Mi minier. <laughs> I don't know how to say this word. Minier. It's a fried fish! <laughs> With lemons! Moonier? Moonier? Like that? Moonier? Uh, what is it? Uh, fr fr fruit. Fruit. Salad? Flam Choder. <laughs> oh, hey. A balloon. <laughs> Salad. <laughs> it's Chowder. I need this to, like, go somewhere I can actually hit it. <laughs> Come here, balloon. Chowder. Watching you. What do we got? Mush umbrella. What about? It's mush. Oh, yeah. Where are the umbrellas? I guess it'd be seasonal anyway, so. Oh, equipment. Mushroom. I think I saw a bunch of flat ones out here. I just pick those. Maybe. Those are long ones. And I have them in storage too, but. Mind. Let's go cook! <laughs> Maybe I should go cook in the pit. I don't know if I can use the grill to actually cook on, though. 
You would think. Not sure. Well, let me store some stuff. I'll keep the anchovy. Oh, I'll sell these. This. I think I'll put away. I think the turkey day stuff I'll give to Knox. Uh. Jolly painting I need to hand in. Cornucopia. Okay. Alright, I need to keep this for crafting. Oh, clean my inventory out a little bit. <laughs> here, I'll just put this here for now. sell stuff and then do some cooking and then I'll I don't know do a couple small things then probably call it uh yeah I could maybe go do like one DLC house design thing maybe I don't know we'll see Don't think I need any of you. I don't really need that. Okay. Should go get these looked at, but I'll do that later. Well, I have to go to the museum anyway, actually. So. Hand in the painting. Also, can I grill at the grill? I turn it. <gasps> no! You can't? Oh well. How about this? No. Probably because these actually do stuff when you touch them. Hmm. Maybe I should get out like a cooking thing to put there. I have, like, some outdoor cooking things. Stonework kitchen? Eh, it's not quite. You know what? Actually, I think I saw somebody with an outdoor kitchen thing that I don't have. I need to put this somewhere, too. This gazebo. Hmm. Well... have to go to the kitchen. I cannot use the grill. Alright, so I needed, like, fruit. I have to go pick some of it, though. I don't have oranges. Fruit. I needed pumpkins again for the pie. Flat mushrooms. Ah, uh, I can't remember. Some stuff I don't have. It's a pretty nice outdoor camp kitchen. I think that's what I saw. I thought I had it, but I guess not. I, like, briefly went through a list of, like, all the stuff that got added in the patch. There's a ton, and I haven't seen, like, a whole lot of it yet. Oh! I forgot you could do that in here. I got the thing to shine stuff. Shine lamp! Shine! <laughs> Sparkle with lights! I forgot that was a thing. Alright. Make 
make something with the furnace. Let's cook! Make some of it. Cherry jam. Sardines! Oh boy. Use that to give yourself a cursed katana. I don't have a katana. I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, I started to talk about it and I got sidetracked. Yeah, I looked at a list of new stuff the guy had. There's a sword you can wear on your back. There's... Like a whole bunch of shit. I'd have to go pull up the list to remember it all, but... There's like fantasy adventure man outfit that I kind of like. Uh... Get what I need. I've done this one already. Um, I need flour and sugar. Clams and flour. Oranges, flour. Seaweed, I don't. Oranges. Flour and potato. <clears throat> flour and olive flour. Potato and flour, flour, sugar. I need the I gotta make a pie. I need somewhere to, like, display all my food, <laughs> so I don't have any room anymore. I've displayed some stuff in here, but... Scones. I basically had one of these for dinner earlier, along with stuff. Looked pretty similar. I don't think it was a scone, though, exactly. It was basically this kind of biscuit. Fruit scones. I need oranges. Orange. And then clams and fish and stuff. Okay, I can get the oranges, though. Biscuit. Maybe I'll make, like, a big banquet hall in Nox's house and put some of the food in there. I wish you could make the rooms bigger. Alright. Shroom. Like, you can change the... the room sizes in the DLC stuff. Like, the vacation homes. But you can't do it to your own. Oh well. Let's see, can I even store these? <laughs> Gonna run out of room again. I think I don't need the potatoes. Alright. So I need oranges. You used to increase the side room sizes in New Leaf. That's right, I thought you did. Now you just get, like, these little tiny rooms. I mean, there's a lot in this game that's way better than New Leaf, but there's a few things that are still kind of missing in some ways. This update, though, added a lot of it that was missing, but still a couple little things. It's fine, I guess. There's so many goddamn fossils. <laughs> Plaguing my island. Alright, into my orchard, which... I really could downsize this and add more stuff to my island. I don't need this huge orchard. 
It was good when I needed a lot of money. But I haven't even bothered to pick stuff from it in quite a while. I need more than three, though, actually. I could just move the fruit trees elsewhere, or just downsize this, but... I don't know. I hope that's enough. Alright, barbecue boy. I'll go make these last few things. I need music in here too. Like a record player or something. Fruit salad. Scone. Alright. Cooking complete. For now. Uh, I could probably sell the fruit. Yeah, I figured I was gonna hit cap again. Uh, I could probably get rid of a couple things. I don't need so much of this. I need one more spot. <laughs> Too much stuff. All right, I can sell this. The museum for one final thing, and then uh, yeah, I might call it soon. It's almost been six hours. Yeah, I can increase the storage cap I have right now, actually. They added even more space, but I need money. I need to do turnips, and I just haven't gotten around to it. Okay, I need to go to the museum. I can also do my coffee for the day, also. Let's see if anybody's in there. Wake up. Look at this shit. Indeed, we've had them all for like over a year. Here, take them. <laughs> Uh, let's see. All I have left to do here is get the art. I think this is a real art. The genuine art! Well, there's one more done. And they added Red to Harv's Island, and he, he sells two things every day. But, like, almost every time it's fake. I think I've gotten one real one from him being there, and not on the boat. And the last time I had the boat, they were all fake, too. So it's like, come on. It's bad enough. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have very little in here. I have THE Rosetta Stone. Little guy. Some of that stuff. But yeah, it's it's fairly empty in here still. First off, because he like never showed up in the boat. Oh, I have the Mona Lisa. That's a pretty big Mona Lisa though. I think it's actually smaller than that. It's like tiny ass painting in real life. He 
Is that the fake? <laughs> Alright, coffee time. Thanks, Adventure Bros. Alright, bub, give me that coffee. Let's grab some fresh beans. We say a cup. You know the drills. You know bells. What if I let the coffee cool off completely? You want. Oh! Oh, you weren't kidding about pigeon milk. <laughs> I haven't seen this yet. What? I thought you were kidding because it was a joke. That, uh, I know Bark Skeletor also had <laughs> that pigeon milk joke, and sometimes we brought it up. No, this is a thing. <laughs> you know. What is. Do I dare? Hmm. Where are you getting the milk from? Blathers? Or Brewster, not Blathers. Don't disrespect Brewster like that. It's pretty cool. <gasps> There's the milk. Flavors at its peak when the coffee serves. Something pigeons actually make in their crops? What? What? <laughs> it's way too hot. Okay, coffee time. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Goes down nice and mellow. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm calling the police. <laughs> No, I don't want the Amiibo call center. I want the police. Get out of here. Fuck you, Brewster. What did you what did you feed me? <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Coffee, huh? <laughs> Just smile and move on. Well, I'm gonna go sell stuff. I hope you guys are having fun out here! <laughs> Just had a life experience, but alright. He regurgitated those beans just for you. Oh man, there's that one coffee that's made from, uh, beans that cats eat, and then, uh, you know, and it, then it's removed from the cats in a certain way. <laughs> Who the fuck was the first guy to do that? I don't have, like, any lamps, so I will buy a lamp. This would have been good for my diner that I don't have anymore, but... Pretty sure I have one of these. What is this? Covered counter. It's not that much. I'll buy it. Pick up. Someone either really high or really bored figured out the cat coffee. Yeah. Beaded curtain wall. Uh, I got those already. 
Uh, I don't see myself needing that. Alright. Actually, slowly decreasing in miles now. <laughs> I had like 80,000, I think, before the patch. And then I bought a lot of stuff that required it, and then did uh, Kappa, like, every day. Like, kind of getting enough to do Kappa every day, but it's still slowly going down. Uh, I got no space. Personally, want to talk to someone who decided drinking animal milk was a good idea. Eh, I mean... Why is this still spinning? Seven! Um... Eh. I mean... Early humans probably saw that they also produced milk and were like, Mmm, we could use that. And then they did. Hey! It was worth it for cheese. I found another fucking fossil, but I'll do it later. Alright. Well... I think I'm gonna call it. I'd like to do some of the DLC stuff, but maybe I'll do that another stream, because it's already getting real late. So... Goats are cool, too. Yeah? I've never had goat cheese, I think. Maybe, maybe once? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think so. Anywho. Let's go to the pit. I'll wrap up down in the pit. <laughs> the pit that I am not allowed to cook in. Also, I made <laughs> the pan food just like burnt garbage as the pit boys, you know, as they do sometimes. Uh, all right, well. That's gonna be it for me for tonight. I had a really good time tonight. Thank you guys for stopping by. I had a lot of fun doing GeoGuster and this. I'll definitely do more of both at some point. Uh, next week is the last week before Endwalker Madness. Uh, I'm not super sure what I want to do for those two streams. To be honest. So... Yep, it's next Friday. Um, and I have a lot of st stuff that I really need to get done that I haven't done yet. <laughs> Not even like fourteen wise, but just in general, uh, that I need to get done before I'm basically doing nothing else. Think you can get through Shadowbringers in that time? Uh, if we play every fucking day, maybe. For more than, like, a few hours a day. But... <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, I've been playing through with Zix. You just got to... Uh, Ilmeg, like, proper. With the fog gone. That's right. I think you're about to do the next dungeon. Um, yeah. I don't know what I want to do Tuesday and Thursday. Who needs sleep when you can easily get caffeine pills? Yeah, just drink coffee. <laughs> don't use those. Um, I don't know. Because the plan was back for blood on sale. My original plan was to just do Dissidia right up till Endwalker, but then it got delayed, so now I have extra time. Which is fine, because Dissidia went a little long anyway. And... 
and I was gonna do Chocobo Dungeon after, but I didn't want to start that and like stop in the middle because Endwalker. So I don't know. I'll figure something out. Maybe we'll just do Animal Crossing and random shit. Uh, I think I got a few things I could do. Just quick one shot kind of deals, but I don't know. Uh, if anyone has a good idea, let me know. I'll probably let you know on Twitter and whatnot before the stream on Tuesday. Anyway, I'll be back with something on Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Who knows? A mystery. It could be art, even, maybe. Who knows? If I'm up to it. Uh, okay. Well, until then, hope you all have a good weekend. Hope you all had a good holiday. If you're from the States. Um, 14 Mahjong Marathon. If, if 14 wasn't down that Thursday, I would get on to just goof around and do whatever before Ed Walker, but it's going to be down. So, I mean, I could do that Tuesday. Just, I don't know, but there's, we're going to be playing and watching and seeing a lot of 14. So, I think maybe something else before then. <laughs> anyway, have a good night, everybody. Take care, stay safe. Have a good weekend. If you're, for some reason, braving Black Friday shit, which don't, uh, good luck. If you're doing online, that's fine. But, uh, mucking around in 14 sounds like good times. Maybe. Maybe I'll do that and art. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I'm thinking. But, alright. I'm going. I'm gonna go eat some leftover turkey and whatnot. Goodbye!